Welcome to my CEH version 9 review guide, questions 121 through 125. These are going to be the last five questions of this review guide. So, does ICMP always respond? When you ping something, does it always respond? And the answer is no. There are typically two reasons why ICMP doesn't respond. One, whatever you're trying to ping or get an echo request from, uh, it may be blocking it, or it may be down. They're the big two. Understand that if, like a firewall or IDS, or uh, if some type of network appliance is in the middle, or even on the device itself, it may actually have a rule, do not respond to ICMP requests. So if you ping it, it could be up, it's just not allowed to respond. Using InMap, again, Make sure you understand like SS and O, SS is a sync scan, Hive and O is an operating system scan. In Linux, what does the path uh, the passwd do? That shows you a list of users and writes. Uh, so if you cat it, you don't get to see the password, you get to see the users and groups. That's it. Understanding Google search items. So if you go to Google and you type site colon microsoft.com hyphen site colon sales microsoft.com, you can actually search for a specific string for microsoft.com. However, you can say do not search or do not include the subsite sales.microsoft.com. There's always one or two questions like that on the CEH, so understanding the Google search queries is important. And the last question of the CEH study material. What does a firewall check when it blocks ports and or applications? If it's blocking ports, ports happen at layer four. If it's uh, blocking applications, application layer is layer seven. So if it's blocking a port, it's specifically looking at the layer four ports. If it's blocking an application, it's going to be looking at the layer 7 headers because that's where the application information is going to be. All right, so if you've gone through all 125 questions and you have a good grasp on the concepts that we described in the, this video series, you should be damn near ready for your CEH. I had several students go through these 125 quick flashcard PowerPoints and I've had several of them take their exam and finish 30 minutes, 35 minutes, and score in the 90%. Again, we didn't cover questions specifically, we covered general concepts. Understand the concepts in each slide and you should be good. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll look forward to answering them. Thank you and you have a great day.